I recently remembered that I have a knitting machine, so I want to use it. Hi, my name is Nicole and welcome to my channel. I like to crochet because I really, I really, really, really want to learn how to knit, but it's scary. So I feel like once I have this down, I'll actually learn how to hand knit. My first ever swatch of knitting. That's the plan at least. I actually used the knitting machine to make the sleeves of this cardigan. First thing that I really want to make, stockings, I think they're called. Just like uh, tights. They've got bows at the front. I don't even know how to explain it, but I really, really, really want to like see if I can make my own version of that. I feel like it could be cute, potentially, maybe. Or it could be really ugly. I don't know. And then I obviously want to make a pair of leg warmers. And then if I could, I would like to make a jumper as well. Let's go i'm so excited so when i used this last year i remember absolutely loving it it was so fun and like pretty easy to make but i don't know what happened this year but i did not have a good time using this like i don't know if it's just because i'm using it wrong or if like the charm of this fresh new little toy that went viral on the internet like kind of has worn off but i did not like using this this time i i don't i don't know I restarted the panel mode is way too annoying I'm just gonna use the tube Yesterday I did one stocking and one leg warmer. So today I'm gonna try and do at least the other like stocking, maybe the leg warmer. After I finish my leg warmers and my stockings, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try and make a jumper. I've got some really cute yarn for it actually. The worst part about being artsy and craftsy is that I have to turn the big light on. Like, I just want my cozy lighting, but I literally cannot see what I'm doing. I just have to feel a little bit sterile every time I want to crochet at night, which is so fun. So, I'm going to put this on the panel mode. I do hate the panel mode. I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong. As you saw at the start of the video, I have learned how to hand knit, or I'm in the process of learning how to hand knit, I guess. So, I'm so excited to keep knitting and to, like, show you the video of me learning how to knit. Um, it's probably going to be the one after this, maybe, I think. I'm not quite sure. I do have, like, a couple videos that I'm excited to post. I don't know if it'll be the actual next one, but it's soon. Trust me, it is soon. You'll see it soon. This has honestly made me want to learn how to knit. I mean, I've been wanting to learn how to knit anyway, but like, I think I'm gonna learn how to knit in the next couple of weeks. I hate crossing off. It's maybe the least fun part. Hello, so today, tonight, hopefully I can finish it in one night. I would really like to make a jumper and I've got this yarn here it's like acrylic but it's like fluffy and like kind of rainbow vibes I would really like to use that to make a jumper I feel like that would be amazing it is currently 9 p.m so we'll see how much I can get done by my bedtime my bedtime is midnight it's kind of a late bedtime I feel like I want to go to bed on time tonight I'm gonna try and do the panels first because they're the most annoying thing I hate the panel setting I'm gonna try and do the panels first so I can just get them out of the way I want to restart. I just want to restart. I feel like I can do it better. I, I made mistakes and it just it wasn't working out. However, I will say this yarn, like it, it's so beautiful. I love it. Let's redo this. This is what I've done so far. And I'm glad I restarted because it's looking a lot better. Also, there was like a chunk of yarn that wasn't properly. Anyway, I think this yarn is so Georgina. So pretty and so stretchy and soft. 
then this is my waist yarn i don't exactly know how to like deal with lace on like i don't know how to like take it off and not just have the whole thing fall apart but um we'll deal with that later i have done one panel and i've even put the waist yarn and so now i'm just going to take this off of the machine and then get onto the second panel it is currently 10 52 in my last hour i would like to finish the other panel i don't know if that's realistic but i'd like to do it i have migrated this is the length of it i mean you can't really see because i'm wearing a hoodie i also think i um underestimated how much yarn i had lol so might only have enough to make like a vest which is still cute i don't mind i'm just going to do the other panel just to get it done also i spent time rotting so it is actually now 11 21. at the time of me filming this i have a little bit over 700 subscribers which is unbelievable i feel like i only just made a video about hitting 500 subscribers like thank you what this is what i managed to get done pretty good amount i've got this much yarn left so but it was starting to get tangled so it was annoying me so i'm gonna go to bed because i'm tired hi it's the next day i'm gonna try and finish it off today i have to attach this new skein of yarn at this point i was just so over it like the yarn was annoying me the knitting machine was annoying me, everything was annoying me, and I was doing this while I was watching a lecture too, so just the fact that I had to do the degree that I pay for and signed up for, everything was annoying me. And then you can tell, my face, not a smile. If you're watching up until this point of the video, then like, we are best friends, like, how are you still here, queen? So, I'm just gonna yap, and you're gonna listen, because it's like, we're besties. So first of all, I am going to Melbourne for my birthday and it's going to be like cold and winter vibes and so I'm going with my sister and so I really want to make us matching like things, like maybe not a full uh, jumper but like a beanie, a scarf and then gloves, I feel like it would be adorable. I also, oh my god, finally got the yarn, I don't know if you watched the other video but I finally got the pink yarn that I was searching high and low for, it finally arrived and I'm going to get started on my hexagon cardigan, my hexagon cardigan was the one project that I really wanted to do for the winter and I haven't like, I couldn't even finish it, it was so frustrating. As soon as I finish this video I'm going back to the hexagon cardigan. So I finished the other sleeve, I actually had enough yarn, I actually had too much yarn, two sleeves, two panels, this one is too long, so I think actually I might make it like shorter. And so now all I have to do is join the pieces together and then I have a cute little jumper. I've just laid it out to try and visualize what it will look like. Just have to join it up. I do hate sewing, so we'll see how this goes. And I have to find out how to deal with waist yarn. I think it's time to try and take the waist yarn off. I'm really scared because if I did it wrong, then it's all just going to unravel. I'm just taking off this side. <gasps> I think I did it right. Nothing seems to be falling apart or anything. Oh, thank God. I was so stressed. This is all the waste yarn. Okay. Great. So now I'm going to do that with the other panel and then I'm going to attach the straps together, like here. I'm gonna mark out where my neck goes. I've already put one stitch marker and that's where my neck will go. I have to put another stitch marker on the other side and then do this whole thing again with the other panel and then connect the straps. jumper i think it's really cute i still need to weave the ends in and i don't know if i've already said this but it's a lot shorter than i thought that well it's just because i don't have a row counter so it's like hard to gauge how long the pieces are gonna be i think it's really cute but with the other things i'm actually fun fact very insecure <laughs> about my legs so i don't know if i will share what they like look like on but i'll show you what they look like i still need to weave the ends in but these are the leg warmers 
they're just a tube so not very interesting i know very cute i like the way that they look this is one of the like type legging things that i made i think it's very very cute it's not my style because like like black and red i'm happy that i saw something that wasn't crocheted like on pinterest and recreated it pretty successfully i hope you enjoyed my video i am going to learn how to hand knit like it, it made me really want to learn how to hand knit so i'm going to hand knit literally like maybe right now or tomorrow so and i will film it so if you wanna watch me learn how to knit subscribe i'll see you around mm -hmm.